Hey, it's Rachel from All About Planners. In this video, I'm doing a review of the Recollections Recipe Book. So there is two styles slash sizes. There is the large one, which is a little bit bigger than US letter size. And that one is very much just a recipe book. It's got categories for the different types of recipes. And then the smaller one, which is about five by seven, so a little bit less than A5. That one, they call it a menu keepsake planner. And it only has a few recipe pages. It's much more focused on meal planning. So you could get both if you wanted to, because there's not really too much overlap, it's just the recipe pages between the two, um, but if you usually do uh, your meal planning within your weekly spread, then you might find that the recipe keepsake journal is a better fit, and that's the one that I personally prefer. So let's have a look at both of them. So in terms of um, a bit about the recollections, they have the coil binding, a laminate cover on the front and the back. The laminate is fairly sturdy, and then with the inside pages, they're bright white paper, as you can see. There's always a little bit of room on the coil if you wanted to add stickers or something else. You see a little bit of wiggle room there. And then the inside layout is always very simple and functional. Um, with a little pop of color just really nice um, I call it a combination between the Erin Condren and the plum paper I just really really like these simple and they're also affordable as well probably should have mentioned that from the beginning so the big one has this little Ziploc pencil case here where it's kind of an odd size because it's not full page so I guess you could just store some little like scrap piece of paper if you go to someone's place and you get a recipe off them um, before you add it to your book you could do that um, otherwise, I'm not really sure about what I would put in there because it's quite thin. It's not like you can store much in there. Then you have the From the Kitchen Of page. And then these ones are my favorite out of the whole thing. A kitchen conversions page and measurement equivalents. I really, really like that because I always refer to it all the time. I have a printable on my fridge, but if you didn't and you wanted to keep it all in one place, this one already has it printed for you within the recipe book. Um, like I said before, really nice, simple design with cute little added touches, like some patterns and little icons, and just looks really, really nice. Love it, love it, love it. And then you have a kitchen substitution page. So if you look at some of the recipe journals that are already made, um, that you can like buy online, they tend to not have these extra pages, it's just the recipe um, pages, or they'll just put recipes on the cover and then a line notebook, which is kind of like, well, not really a recipe book anyway. So this one has all the extras and the recipe pages, really, really, really like it. Um, if I haven't already said that 10 times already in this video. So you have some tabs for the categories that they have, which is breakfast, sides, main dishes, desserts, miscellaneous, and then at the back they have a little meal planning section. The tabs are laminated cardstock and they feel quite sturdy. They're also really big, so it's easy to grip. They have a little section here, notes and pictures, and then some random boxes where you can put in some favorite recipes. They have them in different sizes, so if you wanted to do them by category or you wanted to just put the recipe straight in there, like write it in there, um, short ones, long ones, open-ended for you to decide how you want to use it. A special occasions, so if you want to plan out what you're baking when, I probably don't go into too much detail, but if you're having parties or you're planning Christmas, um, you want to do some recipe experimenting before then, you can put a little note in here. Um, I don't think I'd get much use out of these pages, but they're there if you want them. I really like this little pattern divider here because these extra pages don't have any um, sort of tabs. You have to flick to find them, and there is quite a few of them. So anyway, little things to like signify where it is on the edge of the page is always helpful. And then we have a contents or an index. Lots of list making space for you to write the recipe. As for a two column um, list, probably not enough room in my opinion to fit a recipe if it's a long one. Something like lasagna, which is one word, would obviously fit easily, but if you've got a longer recipe, it might be a little pressed for space. Um, but you do get lots of lines, so you could always double line it um, if you wanted to. Then we have some stickers. So I think with every Recollections Planner, they include some stickers. I probably wouldn't bother using these just because, I don't know, maybe the, these ones with a rating of how much I like the recipe, but otherwise I probably wouldn't bother using these other stickers. These ones are quite cute. If you wanted to add them to your normal weekly planner, I really like this. It'd be really good at the bottom of a um, vertical layout. Really cute. Love it, love it, love it. They always have really nice colours in the Recollections planners as well. Then we have some more stickers again with, um, as you can see, I'm not going to read it all out. You can see what ones are there. Little time is quite cute if you wanted to put that against how long it's going to take for the cooking time for each recipe. Just a little like decorative touch, but it's still functional. Some more cute stickers. Not sure about these. You'd have to get a white pen to write on them like the Uniball Signo. Um, is my favorite white pen. Then we go into the pocket divider, which is double sided and it's quite roomy. You could fit a lot in there. And then we have the breakfast section. So cute divider page and then 
we go into the tab is just stuck to the edge of the paper by the way and then we go into the recipe pages themselves so um, a functional layout as a as I've said, like all the pages in the, recoll in the recollections plan is always really functional. You've got plenty of room to write your ingredients and then your directions. It's lined writing space. Then you have a little note section on the sidebar. Servings, main ingredients. So if you like, oh, what do I have in my pantry or what do I need to get at the shops? You could put that there, like you need chicken and etc. Um, then you've got seasonal variations. Probably wouldn't use that, but it's a nice touch I've not seen in another recipe book. Difficulty, prep time, cooking, temperature, and then serve with. So really simple recipe page. Quite like it. Very functional. Lots of space to write. And then it's the same for each of the um, tab sections. So you've got the sides one. And if you go into there, they have a different recipe page. So again, ingredients, directions, and then just a slight change in the design and then a note section. Not too sure about the mint and the white. The white's not really standing out much against that mint. Same continued throughout for that side section. Then we go to main dishes where the page layout changes back to the um, breakfast one, but with different colors. So I quite like the different colors to distinguish it. Um, I do kind of wish that it matched the tab. So the tab for that's green, but then that's red. I don't know, I'm a bit OCD about colour coding things, so that would have been really cute if it was colour coded. And then we go to the desserts. Really, really like this divider page. How cute is that? Love all these little graphics, love the colours. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. And in the desserts, again, similar sort of layout. It does have a pink, I guess, to match the tab. Um, lots of space to write. Go to the miscellaneous. Again, another cute cover page. And then these ones, same layout, but with just a slightly different design. We go to meal planning. Again, another cute divider page. Recollections is very on point with cute versus functional. We have a little note section that has dot grid paper. If you can see that, on, I don't know if it's showing up on the phone. Um, and then we have the weekly meal planning page. So it has the little serving suggestions. So you know these things that I don't think anyone really sticks to. I know I don't. Of how many times you're supposed to eat it per week. So it's a cute little tracker. Not something that I've seen in another planner. And I would actually probably use that. Because I tend to just cook the same thing. And I'm definitely not getting my certain amount of servings for each of those things. So a good little reminder. And then we have the weekly meal planner. Which has you 7 days of the week with an equal amount of space for each day. So something that really something that really annoys me with planners is when they combine Saturday and Sunday into the same space so they put it in one box as a weekday you get a full box for each day on these pages. The only con that I would say is that there's not too many of these so it's not going to last you an entire year. I'd probably tear these pages out um, and have them as an accompany to my planner rather than keep them within the um, recipe book itself because you'll use these pages up probably before the recipe and then you'll want the recipes to reference and I don't know I think I'd use the big recipe book and then the little meal planner keepsake which I'll go through in a sec so we've got the weekly market list which has all your usual stuff categorized and that's on the back side of the weekly meal planner so you can tear it out and take it with you to the shops at the back you have a little thoughts page or like a notes page couple of other lined notes pages as well not too many of those though and then a little page at the back it's laminate so you could write on it with a whiteboard marker if you wanted to so next I'll just do a quick look at the menu keepsake planner so you can compare the two obviously a much more smaller size same coil binding with the laminate cover the cover is a little different as well sort of like that chalkboard style very small super lightweight so feels like it weighs probably not much more than my kindle you could definitely take this with you along with another planner in your handbag if you wanted to little from the kitchen of page staples easy dinner ideas five my favorite meals for each month um I guess you could use that as like a reference section. I'd probably just prefer a notes page where I just jotted that down if I wanted to record that. Menu, menu planning is the same design as that large one that I just showed you, only it has, uh, with the cover page, only it has a different layout for um, the weekly planning with it actually stepped out for each type of meal and then a little best meals of the week. Quite like that, it's a good idea. So then when you're doing future meal planning, you can click back and go, which ones do we like? Let's get lots of those. You have the shopping lists, which are a two-page spread, so it's not super bunched, which is good. The line spacing is still a bit small and definitely smaller than the letter size, but not so small that you couldn't fit it in there. Um, as you can see with reference to my finger, 
it is a bit smaller than um, the 0 0.25 which is typical spacing in planners continue through all these meal planning pages there's heaps of them so it should last you a good while and then we go to the inventory section so in there you have the pantry and the fridge inventory and quite a few of those repeated so you shouldn't run out of space for a while and then we have the mini recipe section so you could use these for your favorite recipes or if you have short recipes so I don't know if you use recipe cards I personally don't because I always run out of room but if you do and you wanted some way to keep it all together rather than using recipe cards you're finding it's just not working for you anymore this could work because it's a lot smaller um, space to write them in than that large size one I just showed you um, similar layout though with the sidebar with all the little um, sections and then an open-ended space you do have to fit ingredients and directions in that so I think you'd be a little pushed unless you're doing a push for space unless you're doing like a quick recipes um, section so these continue all the way through and then at the back you've just got the oops, the back cover page I can never get my fingers to work and a couple of stickers so again kind of random stickers I probably wouldn't use with a recipe book but they're there if you want them or you could just use them with your general daily planner and then simple cover at the back so that is the recollections menu keepsake planner and the recollections recipe keepsake journal I'll have um, a link below in the description box if you wanted to look at any of my other recollections reviews like their weekly planners um, there's a goal planner etc anyway those links will be in the description box below and lastly, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I usually post one or two planner, review, planner review videos each week. See you in the next one.